Let's try for another hodge then. So we parked the rock at the same position, roughly around there. We can probably do this without the Void Walker, but it's safer with. And you know, all we lose is one shard. I like to wait before they reset. Or until they reset before I do the jump. Sometimes when you do the jump and run up there, they start attacking you through the ground. It's a little annoying. Uh, might have to do it quick here because the elemental is coming back. Oh, it's all right. Let's be quick. In worst case, we can just drag them down again. Oh, it looks a little scarier than it actually is. You know, we didn't have to do it that risky, but it works. Any thoughts about the Warlock Black and Lair Trinket? It doesn't have literally any use at all. Uh, it's mostly just for memes. It's pretty bad overall. And then we'll try to deviate. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but uh, we'll find out. As a gnome, obviously it doesn't work. As a deviate, we'll see. Nope. Nope. Yeah, as a human, it doesn't work. Like as a as a human, it works, but as a deviate human, if you're a gnome, it doesn't, because the deviate does not actually increase your model size just changes your model so yeah it doesn't work we have to pop giant growth or uh, winter fall fire water there you go if it does not change your hitbox at all yeah exactly you're correct and that's exactly what I said as well
Let me do the bus. Hopefully the same way it did uh, it went last turn, because that was ideal. Obviously, giant growth, you know, doesn't last very long, so you have to pop multiple, which kind of sucks. But there's no way around it, really. Ideally, you do this in two rotations. So once you get him really low, or on the one, you get him to like 60% or something. Then you jump down, you get him to 40 ish, and then the mob spawn, you jump back up, they run all the way to him, and then he dies there. Uh, we'll do the jump now, they respawn now, they run to, they're running to the boss. But the boss is already coming back to us, and if we kill him before he reaches us, or before they reach him, then we'll get the loot, and they won't aggro us. Uh, let's kill him here. Get the loot on the rogue, and peace out. Now... If we looted it quicker, they wouldn't aggro on me. Now I'm obviously just gonna suicide real quick. But yeah, ideally they would just AFK here. We would be out of combat and then we can reset without problems. Now we have to pop a soul stone. That's it. And now if we switch to the rogue perspective. We have Hand of Justice right here in our inventory. Boom. Done. 